Hey friends, welcome back to the 2 Week Travel Program. Today is our second lower body day, so we're gonna hop in and get moving because it's gonna be a little spicier than it was last time. But as always, you just need your body and enough room to move. So let's get into it. We're gonna start at the back of our space with our four different kinds of walks, starting up on our heels, digging those heels into the ground as we work our way down the mat and back. Now I'm going a little speedy, so I'm gonna try to remind myself to stay patient. If you can, looking out in front of you, instead of down at your feet, I'm gonna do my mall walking arms. Good, oh, it's Zoom Music Clock. Let's switch to toes. We're going up on the tippy toes, all the way down the mat. Good. Norm's going wild right now. Sometimes I cut his noises out of the video, but he's been at this for like 20 minutes, so it's not gonna stop anytime soon. We're gonna switch to the inner blades of our feet, tilting the tops of your feet in towards each other. Good. I'm swinging those power walking arms. You can almost see my Walkman in my juicy couture tracksuit. Mm -hmm. One more time, down and back. And then we'll switch to the outer edges of our feet. Bringing the soles of the feet in to face each other. Here we go. Tilt them in. Nice. Take your time. These can be tiny little bitty baby steps. One more time back and forth. Boop, 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 boop. I know this feels kind of silly, but it's really made such a difference for me in such a short time. Good, let's shake them out. We're gonna bring the feet back underneath our body, toes pointing in the same direction. We're gonna go into our happy feet foot taps, lifting one set of toes, tapping them down, other set of toes, tapping them down. <sighs> Try not to let that movement echo through the rest of the body. Try to really isolate the lift of the foot. Good, and as you start to get comfier, we can go a little bit faster. We're here for three, two, one, let's let it go. We're gonna to start to lift and drop the heels. Let's think of this nice and soft, softening the ankles, softening the knees. Woo, and if you like, you can turn this into a little hop, rolling through the feet. We're here for five and four and three, two, one, back to the toe taps. Ooh, I almost fell over there. You can totally be holding on to something if that makes you more comfortable. Good. Trying not to rock side to side too much. Just pick up those toes and tap them down. We're here for five and four and three, two, one, and we bounce. Good. Just a little bit of soft impact. If you're doing this in the morning, it kind of wakes you up too. It's nice. Good. We're here for five and four and three. Two, one, shake it out. Take your feet a little wider apart. We're gonna go into our catcher squat. That's our hinge to our hip drop into that little squat. Back up to that flat back hinge and standing. Here we go for 10. We slide hips back. We bend knees, lift the chest. We straighten the legs, head forward, and we squeeze glutes to stand. We slide hips back. We sit it down. Straight legs, we stand it up. Good, try to relax your toes on the ground. Spread them out, find that wide, solid base. Woo, I'm feeling a little creakier today than the last time we did this. And that's okay, maybe you can slow it down a little bit. Maybe you can spend a little extra time in that deep squat, or just practicing this hinge. Whatever feels good today. This is getting us warmed up, getting us Prepped and primed for some harder work. Here we go. Bring it down. And up. And forward. I go back. And down. And straighten. And stand. And back. And down. And straighten. And stand. Last two. Back. And down and straighten and stand last one back and down and straighten and stand let it go shake it out we're going back into that lunge series but today 
we're gonna smush all three moves together. So we're gonna do it like a mini circuit. We'll go one side, other side, repeat it, repeat it again. Okay, we're gonna start with our reverse lunge, setting up working leg opposite our support, our wall or our chair. Here we go, sitting back and down. We're here for 10 lunges. 10 lunges, eight single leg deadlifts, and then six of those split squat pulses. Woo! We're gonna toast out those glutes and quads pretty quickly. <laughs> All you have to do is stay patient with it. Keep breathing. Pressing that front foot down into the ground. Good, here's my last one. Switching to that single leg deadlift. I slide hips back. I squeeze glutes forward. Good, slide hips back. Squeeze glutes forward. You can also slide that resting arm down the leg if you like. You don't need to go much farther than your hand touching your knee. So if you feel like you could reach down to your toes, maybe focus on bringing those hips back behind you a little bit more. It might just change the feeling of the deadlift. Here's my last one. I'm bringing it up. I'm gonna step back into that split squat position, lengthen out my low back. Here we go. We pulse down, squeeze it up, squeeze it up, squeeze it up, drive the knee to stand. Whoo! Down and up, down and up, down, drive the knee to stand. Four more just like that. This is the part where I start to question myself. I start regretting <laughs> programming this is a little circuit. Whew. But we're gonna be in and out of here today. It's gonna be intense, and then it's gonna be over. Whew. And two, and three. Last one, down, pull it up, and up, and up, drive that knee, shake it out. Let's switch to the other side. Here we go, right into that set of lunges, square off. Fully reset, lean into your support. We sit back and down, we press it all the way up. 10 lunges here. That's our longest little set. Pressing down, flat through the foot, like you could plant roots into the center of the earth. Good, this is five. You'll notice how much I hinge into these. Woo, let my eyes travel with me. That feels good on my body. Don't be afraid to play around with it. We're here for three. Last two. Switching to the single leg deadlift after this one. And up, here we go, tall spine. We send hips back. We squeeze glutes forward. We send hips back. We squeeze glutes forward. Good. Again, I encourage you to play with making this range of motion smaller. Smaller and more specific is going to do a lot more for us here than making the most beautiful, perfect T of all time. Woo, we've got three more. I'm already sweating. <laughs> Last two. Good. Last one, stay patient with it. We'll switch to that split squat pulse. Here we go, step it back. We bob down, squeeze up, squeeze up, squeeze up and drive that knee. Nice. Down and up, and up, and up. Woo! Four more. Again, this doesn't need to move much to really, really work those glutes. Feel that stretch and squeeze, that stretch and squeeze, that stretch and squeeze, drive to stand it up. But can you really use the support from the floor? The resistance of pulling those legs together. Ah! Last one. Up and up and up. Excellent. Shake it out. We're going to take a tiny break here and then we'll switch back to that first side. And we're going to go again. Hey, it's going to be good. What? Hey, you can do it. I can do it too. Oh, the vibes are getting weird. Let's go back to that first side. I'm planting my outside foot. I'm leaning into the wall. 
Let's be brave. Here we go. Sitting down, standing up. 10 lunges, eight single leg deadlifts, six split squats with the pulse. That's it. And then we're getting down to the floor. Whoo! This is five. I'm halfway through with this whole triple superset on this first side. We're thinking about moving the pelvis as one piece. Sitting both hips down, squeezing everything up. Good, I'm going for last two. Last one. And we deadlift, here we go. Hinging back, squeezing forward. Hinging back, squeezing forward. Go ahead and soften up your knees for me. Soften up your collarbones. If you feel a little loosey-goosey, maybe you squeeze those armpits down. Get a little bit of upper body tension going. Four more. Last three. Last two. Going to that pulse split squat after this last one. Here we go. I'm stepping it back and down. We bob down, squeeze up. And squeeze up, and squeeze up. Drive the knees standing up. Here we go, down, squeeze up. Down, squeeze up. Down, squeeze up, drive the knee. Good, I'm keeping my legs on their parallel train tracks. I'm squeezing everything in together as if I could like tweezer my yoga mat up with me. <laughs> Three more, almost done with this first side. Are you breathing? Are you being nice to yourself and your brain? If you weren't, that's no big deal, but now's a good time to start. Last one up, and two, and three. Excellent, shake it out. Here we go. Last time through this whole chunk of work. I know it's a beast. Here we go, we step back, drive it up. Sitting down. Squeezing up, you gotta release the glutes. Soften the knees as we go back. Even if you're not going all the way down to the ground, even if you're just dipping down, see how far you can control it. A practice softening and then contracting. I'm going three. Last two. Exhale, push the floor away. Last one. Into the hinge, we slide hips back, squeeze it up, relax that back leg, it's just dead weight, it doesn't need to make a shape, it's just there for the ride. <sighs> Sliding my back pockets into a nice narrow parking space, Ooh, right back behind me. I'm going three more to finish out by eight. Oi, my glute is talking to me. And we still have to pulse. I'm going last one, back and forward. Here we go, we step down, squeeze it up. Squeeze it up, squeeze it up, get tall, whoo, nice. Down and up, down and up, down and up. Don't forget about that wall, lean into it. No harm in asking for some support here. Let's go two more. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Last one. Down and up. Squeeze it up. Last one, best one. And up. And shake it up. Let it go. Excellent, my friends. We're going down to the floor to our kneeling squats and our Nordic curls. If you prefer to take these as a chair squat, go ahead and grab that. If you're excited to uh, have another crack at these after last week, I'm right there with you. All right, my friends, I'm going to take my knees a little bit farther apart. I'm sitting up on my heels, toes are untucked, and I'm going to hinge forward. I'm going to keep that hinge all the way up and all the way down. I'm traveling on this diagonal plane, never fully stacking up out of that hinge. We're here for 60 seconds. It's just practice time. Do with that whatever you need to. Here we go. In 30. In two, in one, hinging forward. I squeeze up and I sit down. 
I squeeze it up. I sit it down. Good. Picking up that pom pom off the floor. Softly putting it back down. Nice. Let that hands on hips, but you can reach out for a little, little extra stability. Woo! Reach for something. Grab your hands. We are halfway done. You got this. If you want a little more, <laughs> don't go all the way up. Squeeze, pull, 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 just like that pulse. Slowly lower, don't go all the way down. Squeeze, pull, pull, pull. Good. And lower. Woo. 10 seconds left. You got this. We're done for three, two, one. Excellent. Come up onto your knees. I'm going to bring my legs closer together. I'm going to tuck my pelvis, find my plank so I can lean back and recover. Oh, my poor quads. All right, 60 seconds on. Here we go in three, in two, in one. I'm leaning back. I'm squeezing up. Reminder from last time, grab onto the wall if you need it. Good. You can control how much support you ask for, right? So if you just want a little bit of guidance, just a little, you know, emergency plan B over here, that's A-okay. If you need a little more, press into it. Slow yourself down. Woo, test how much those quads can take. We are halfway done. Feels like we've been doing this for 20 minutes. Can you tell these are my, one of my least favorite, but they're so good for us. <laughs> Excellent. 15 seconds left. You got this. We're gonna repeat this one more time. You're doing great. Back and up. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Let it rest. Okay, tiniest of little baby breaks. We're gonna go back into those kneeling squats. One minute on the clock, 60 seconds. Two minutes between us and that cool down. We can do it. In three. In two, hinging forward, let's lift off. We squeeze, lift, and lower. Good, squeeze, lift, and lower. Nice. I like to think about how my body would feel the same and different if I was doing this as a squat with feet on the floor, right? What kind of movement pattern am I practicing? Where else do I see that in other kinds of movements? Because that also helps me think about my squat. I think about my squat as picking up a heavy box or getting up off the couch. We're more than halfway through it. That always happens when I get chatty. Good. Squeezing glutes underneath you. 15 seconds left. And 10. <laughs> Are you breathing? Can you soften your shoulders? Can you drop your tongue? We're down in three, in two, in one. Bring it up. I'm walking knees together. Last set of Nordics, and then we are good to go. We start in three, in two, in one. We lean back, lean back, lean back. Bring it up. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, my friends. Testing yourself. This does not need to be a big movement to be highly effective. I hope you can feel that. If you can't feel that, just trust me on this one, okay? Leaning back, keeping that plank. Only the strength of my quads is extending me back up to the top. I'm keeping my tail tucked, shoulders relaxed, spine long. Good, 20 seconds left. Imagining I was in complete control of this movement, even if I don't quite feel it yet. Woo, we gotta do bravery first and the confidence will catch up. Nice, good, we're here for five, four, three, two, one, woo. Oi, let it go, we're gonna take that right into a lunge. You pick which leg, I don't care, you could also stand this up. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes, slide forward over that front foot. Oh, I'm mushing my foot into the ground, getting a little bit of dorsiflexion here. 
thinking about keeping that tailbone tucked, keeping my tall, confident posture, even in this stretched out position. If you like, maybe hands come to some support or the floor. Maybe start to pick those back toes up off the ground, get into that back quad. And if you're ready, you can take that twist, maybe grab the back foot or just reach for it. Ooh. And moving towards this position, it's not something we can just hit and stay there and check off our list. It's still a movement. It's something that we're exploring. It's something we move into and out of and through. It's not just a destination. On your next exhale, let's let it go. We're gonna swap to the other side and step in forward. I'm squeezing weights, I'm sliding into this. Oh. Oh. How'd it go today? Did it feel different than last time? Better or not as much better or the same? Oh. I'm proud of you for taking the time to move. Even if you did one rep and then you just hung out with me, that's, you were here. I think that's something in and of itself. Great, adding in that back foot lift if you want to, that little stretch. I had my face to the brick last time, so you couldn't, you couldn't see my, uh, <laughs> my uh, haunted house face. Like, oh God. Uh, those hips always love to jump out and scare me. One more breath all together. Here we go. Wherever you are, <sighs> let it go. Beautifully done, my friends. Nice work today. That was not easy. So proud of you for being here. I hope you're feeling proud of me too. And uh, I'll see you next time.